To me, this is a safe haven. It's a place for me to make art where I'm not being judged. Not only like my art is not being judged, but my mental illness is not being judged. At Fountain House Studio, I'm amongst my peers and we just have this connection that I never felt anywhere before. Townhouse Gallery and Studio is an art-making, collaborative community. We're a movement of people who are coming back into the space of self-discovery after being diagnosed with a serious mental illness. It's a really great community, and it's very supportive, having been uh, disabled and having gone through the shelter systems in New York City and trying to settle in with, uh, you know, this new life of mine. It keeps me busy, it keeps me active, it keeps me connected. It always makes me happy when I can put a smile on someone's face and see them enjoying the piece or the artwork the way I would enjoy it. We are a studio located in Long Island City where we offer residencies, drop-in spaces, art making program, we do art history, we do technique classes, we do workshops where our art making members uh, share their talents with other people. It feels good to come to a studio and realize that other people have similar struggle, struggles and at the same time still persevere. I do love, I love the idea of having my own little desk over there and like an easel and like, oh my God, I'm painting. <laughs> um, love that. I've learned how to start trusting people here, which I never thought I would really be able to do. For me, it's such a breakthrough in my, in my well-being. I advocate for myself more since I've been starting to come to the studio. Part of us having a gallery space, um, of putting on exhibitions, of inviting external curators into our space is an opportunity to end stigma, to show that our artists are, you know, more than any diagnosis. I've never been shown in any gallery before. So to see my work up in Fountain House Gallery, it's a good feeling. <laughs> it looks beautiful up in the wall. <laughs> Partnerships uh, enable us to provide additional access for our artists. Being able to attend the Outsider Art Fair, for instance, every March connects us to an international audience of collectors, of curators. Working with Governor's Island, we were just an organization in residence for six months. We got an opportunity to connect with 10,000 visitors. The Yell installation in Herald Square, we were able to construct a site-specific, immersive installation with our artists. For the Illumination Fund to come here and to invest in us. We just expanded our studio twice the size, and that's something that would not be achievable without having funders in our corner. We saw the potential for this studio to serve a role that no one else is doing and that can have an impact on people's lives in a profound way. We are coming up on our 25th anniversary of being a gallery. The gallery space could triple and we would still be having more people who want to be working with us. There's no kind of stopping the momentum that we've built with the gallery and studio program.